Hope you all had a good Christmas. We're now in that really weird part between Christmas and New Year where not quite sure what day it is, not quite sure what you're doing. I'm luckily not back at work now till the New Year. Yay! But yeah, I wanted to just share with you a few things I've got. Part of it's a Christmas present. Technically it's all a Christmas present. When I say technically you'll see why. Um, so one of the things I wanted for Christmas but didn't get but then got some Christmas money so bought it is this haha <laughs> Fitbit so 2016 was our year of eating better 2017 is going to be the year of moving more uh, I've had it on for three days now two out of those three days I have hit my 10,000 step target the first day I didn't because that's the day it arrived in the post and I didn't actually get it on until about two o'clock but hey hi so yeah so we will be definitely be moving more um, if you're on my Instagram then you'll be seeing a lot more of my Fitbit a lot lot lot, lot more and I don't know if you can see do it like that I've accidentally without realizing it matched my nails Ooh, do that to my Fitbit <laughs> Not on purpose, I swear. I, I swear. So, for the title of this video, obviously, you're not here because you want to see my Fitbit. You are here because you want to see my T2 haul. Now, the first thing I got, and I know the title of the video says unboxing as well, but this is not part of the unboxing, and I'll explain why as the video goes on. First thing I got was actually a present off of Dale for Christmas Day. Ah, Yeah. He, he knew I wanted it. I saw it in the shop, almost bought part of it, and he told me, no, 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 too close to Christmas. It's only fair, I guess, because I do the same with him and Lego. So. so anyway, this is it. It is the T2 French Earl Grey. Now, the story behind this is the day we went Christmas shopping, we went into the T2 shop obviously obviously because i actually wanted the christmas blend tea to drink on christmas day which was lovely 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 but whilst we were in there they actually had this set out with the french earl grey tea to try so we tried it and i tried it very tentatively because i've tried earl grey in the past and i'm not a fan not yeah not a fan of it at all but we tried this one and oh my god it was beautiful it was so light refreshing it, it was lovely it was really lovely it felt really sophisticated tea so obviously this is what they were trying to plug and this is what they were trying to sell this is the big box set not just the individual box of tea but if you look the box itself is just stunning and it came all gift wrapped you got it gift wrapped in tea too as well which surprised me because Dale loves wrapping but hey ho. So I'm going to open it up and we'll show you what's inside. Ready? Uh, oh, bits have fallen out. I haven't actually opened any of this just so I could show you. So, this is what it looks like when you open it up. Obviously, it's usually like that. So I'm going to get it all out and show it all to you individually. But I just want to show you inside how beautifully packaged is this. It's amazing. I love it. So, first thing we have, obviously, for a tea gift is La French Earl Grey tea. Now, this actually says on the back of it, an Earl Grey gets a French twist which is oh so fruity, a medium bodied black tea based with pretty petals and notes of fruit that play with a classic bergamot in an inspiring, bold, refined infusion. And it says on the back it's perfect on its own, so you don't add milk or anything to it. Open up the box, because if I remember correctly, this is really pretty. So. There's the tea. You can see all the different colours in there. All the florally bits, all the fruity bits. So the ingredients for this are... Refer to outer packaging. 
Okay, let's do that. The ingredients are black tea, natural and artificial flavouring, not the best, but hey ho, hibiscus, sunflower petals, road pets, rose petals, and mallow flowers. Sorry, I'm slightly bunged up today. Mallow flowers. That was meant to say a lot like blah blah blah. So that's what's in the tea. The next part in the box, which you'll see, this is how you know I haven't opened it at all, but I think it's really useful. My little mesh ball is getting started to get a bit straight, stained where I've used it so much. Um, so yeah, I need to look up how to clean it properly. Obviously, it goes through the dishwasher. It gets, it does get cleaned, but after a while, tea stains, stainless steel. So, I'm really pleased to have this in here. So let's take this off. So we've got the mesh ball on one end, and then a little. Oh, this feels like a metal scoop. I think it's a metal scoop, but painted on the other end. If you just scoop into there, voila! All in one tool. Oh, I've dented it. That's no good. So you literally open it up for those of you who haven't seen these. Open it up like that. Then scoop your tea in. Close it back up. Close the little arm. And then just drop it in your tea like a tea bag. Fabulous. Yeah, I haven't actually opened any of this yet because I've been waiting to film this video to show it you in the box rather than half-heartedly bits here and there. So I haven't even opened the tea yet, which for me to not open the tea, big deal. Okay, and then finally what we have, take me a second to get this out. Of course it wouldn't be a tea set with a beautiful cup and saucer. Just look at that, you've got all the gold detailing. I mean, around the edge of the saucer. Can't quite see that. But it's got this beautiful pattern on the cup. There's the saucer. So yes, I should be making my French Earl Grey and I should be drinking out of this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love this. This is now my third cup and saucer. My mum asked me the other day, so when you drink your tea two teas, do you don't just drink them out of a normal mug then? And I was like... No, I drink them out of a cup and saucer because I'm just that sort of sad act. What I do when I make my tea 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 is I make up my pot, make up a whole pot of tea usually, and then I put it onto a one of those food warmers that people seem to get when they like get married or at Christmas when they get their first house or whatever. It's got two little tea lights in the bottom. So yeah, I put it on one of those to keep it warm between cups. And yeah, I will sit and usually I'll be I don't know, editing a YouTube video or doing some work, doing some research or something like that. And that's how I drink my tea. With each new cup, it's hot, it's like a fresh cup, so it's all good. So that was the first part of my T2 Christmas present from Dale. Second part confused me because this was wrapped. So it's a little black bag. And actually, you've seen on the camera there straight away, which I've only just noticed. It says T2 on it. I opened it up that way, where there's no T2 on it. That's quite cool. I didn't notice that the first time. But the little bag's got T2 on it. So I literally opened up this bag this way, and I'm going, what could be in here? Because it's quite flat. And then I open it up. And inside is this little tea too, and it says yours to spend at the bottom there. That's right, the boy got me a gift voucher. Yay! So I can go and spend whatever I want in tea too. Was so excited. Now I did think about going to the shop, um, hitting the Boxing Day sales and all of that. However, so I'm just readjusting my leg. My local shop is in a big shopping centre, which would have been rammed. And I mean, like, seriously, seriously, rammed. 
and yeah, it's about a 40 minute drive away. And I was like, Ugh. the only reason I wanted to go there was 42. So instead, I decided to go on the website. I looked on the website and um, obviously they've got all the same deals on there, all the same products. And I decided to do an online order. Now, I've never ordered online from T2 before. However, what I can say is I ordered, we're on Friday today. I ordered on Tuesday. It's now Friday. It came this morning. In the UK, T2 is delivered by DPD. They, personally, are the best couriers in the world, I think. They um, basically send you, so send you a message saying that when, what day your thing's going to be delivered on. And then on the day, first thing in the morning, I think mine came through about 8am or something. It gives you an hour time slot of when your parcel will be delivered. So mine was between 11.11 and 12.11. At 11.25, my parcel arrived. Not only did it arrive within the time slot, but I was actually able to track it. So I was able to go online and it showed on a map where the driver was and where I was. And it was like, driver is on parcel 7 of 40. So there was like 40 parcels. I was number 40 and he was on 7. And so we were tracking him all the way. Literally, we tracked him to round the corner. That's how good this tracking was. So I knew exactly when it was coming. I knew how far away it was. I knew if I had time to pop to the shops or something, which was brilliant. So, my parcel arrived. As you can see, I have not touched this as I cover up my dresser. I haven't touched this. Oh yeah, look, parcel 40. So this is going to be a true unboxing video. Now, haha. I'm afraid I just tape on it. I might need some scissors to get into this. So, let's just get it out the cardboard box. Oh. Double taped! Seriously? Someone does not want me getting into this. Aha, we are in. Okay, so. Goodbye. Here we are. Oh my god. They were, seriously? Somebody does not want me getting into this box. Ooh, okay. We've got black tissue on top here, all embossed with T2. Oh, and then I'm going to put it down. Then we've got all of this. Ah, okay, so taking out the packaging. This is what it looks like inside. Okay, so this is what I can see. So, the first thing I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick up this. The very first time I went into T2, I saw these and I wanted one, but I, I couldn't justify the cost because I didn't know how much I'll be drinking their teas. So let's unwrap it. Ah, so it's all wrapped in the T2 tissue. So I've got the T2 flask. Well, bottle flask thing. Um, so as you can see, it's got the T2 logo on top. I've got it in pink, just because pink. Yeah, open it up. So you open it up. It's a sealed lid here. Oh, that's spongy on the inside. I guess that's so you get a proper seal. So you can open it up like that. You can drink out of it. Or 
you can pull this bit out and screw this bit and you've got your strainer yeah, it's got the T2 written up there so you put your tea leaves Aha, in here clip it on pour your water through into here obviously and then you can brew on the go now I personally thought this was brilliant but like I said at the time I didn't know how much tea 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 I'd be drinking as you're all aware it's turned into a bit of an obsession but never mind so the next part I think this is going to be a case of it's an old gift pack that they've reduced so let me get it out and show you okay so we've got this it's called the big chill and what it is is it's the t2 iced tea jug with some teas in it as well so it's a gift pack however they've now got a new pack out with the same stuff in but it's got little boxes of tea in which means this one was actually reduced in price to 25 pounds it's got the two litre jug in it well the smaller jug i can't remember i think it's either one or 1.2 liters is 25 pounds on its own whereas this is the two litre jug for 25 pounds with some tea in so yeah in it you get the tea tree juggle up lemongrass and ginger tea which is just lemongrass and ginger mint mix which is peppermint spearmint and lemon verbena Pumping pomegranate, which actually I've been waiting to try that one, so I'm really excited about that. That's got apple, hibiscus, rose hip, pomegranate petals, flavouring, and safflower petals. Mm. And then you've also got sun sunrise, which is apple, white hibiscus, apple pomace, flavouring, sweet blackberry leaves, lemongrass, grapefruit peel, and citric acid. So, before we go, let's just check there's nothing else in the box. No, it's just another layer of tissue. So we'll get the box out of the way. So let's open this up together. I'm going to need to slide this bit off. Yeah, so if you go on the T2 website, this pack might not be around for much longer. It might actually be the new pack, which is obviously full price still. <sighs> Can't get into it. So there it is, you've got a picture of you've got T2, picture of the jug. Now let's see if I can actually get into it. Haha. -ha. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. So we've got two things of tea, two things of tea. So let's have a look at those. So I think if I remember correctly, one of these is enough to do a whole jug. Uh, empty sachet into the fuser and fill three quarters. Yeah, so we've got there we are the southern sun no lemongrass and ginger, mint mix, pumpkin pony granite, and southern sunrise. And then let's just pull this bit out again, all wrapped up in tissue paper. Now, I don't think they actually do this colour anymore in T2 of this jug, apart from this step. Da, 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 da. There it is. So. It's got T2 logo on top and some instructions. So it says align the T2 logo with the spout. Turn half a circle to vent the steam and then another half to pour. So I guess that's how you take it off. So you've got a great big strainer in here which unscrews from the lid. That's what the jug looks like. So another big warning on there, you have to allow the steam to get out. So when you make your iced tea in this, you put your boiling water in. But then you cannot put the lid on tight, tight straight away. You have to let it cool down. Otherwise, 
it will expand and probably blow up your junk. Then, super your tea in here, attach it into here, fill this up three quarters of the way, and then put it in with the T2 logo up to the spout. Okay, I'm going to turn it half a turn to vent the steam. So you'll just leave it like that until it's all cooled down and all the steam's come out. Another half to pour. So nothing's coming out of that. But you can tighten it completely. And that's now airtight to take it places. You can just take it here, there and everywhere. Which I think is really handy because you can make iced tea in the jug. You don't have to make a separate jugs or... I've got an iced tea jug at the moment. I've got a nice glass one, but... I have to make the tea in my teapot to then pour into the jug. I can only, the teapot only actually fills it about halfway, so this is just so much easier. Yeah. Okay. So there we have it. That is my T2 unboxing video. I am very, very, very happy with my purchases. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you like the videos give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like this subscribe comment below the sorts of things you want to see whether you want to see perhaps i don't know some tea recipes or anything like that and i will see you all again soon bye <laughs>